way that you can use asana to help your own personal cultivation practice or progress towards your personal goals is by having uh, weekly, daily, monthly reminders for you to follow up on your personal goals or your personal development plans. Um, in here I've put in some of like the personal training and courses or books I'd like to read this quarter um, as well as some ideas for upcoming things I want to take, uh, learn about. A really good way to ensure that you're actually following up on these is to review them more regularly. So monthly, weekly, daily, make sure that you're breaking down your larger goals into some small, digestible and actionable tasks that are going to hold you accountable to progress towards these larger goals. So one way to do it is to have monthly reminders for personal things like review your finances every month, work out three times a week, and so maybe you put that in asana as a recurring task to happen every two days in asana. Um, so for, for me personally, and what I encourage you to do is, is to create a private project area. So your own private project that nobody else can see. As you can see here, it's locked so that this is only something that I can see. Um, and what I'm going to do is start adding things about my finances or business or workout goals, um, other goals that I want to accomplish and have reminders at the end of uh, the month for my finances, at the end of the week for my personal goals or whatever you really want to work on. I encourage you to create your own project for your own personal tasks and use that as personal accountability measure to ensure that you're actually following up on these things. It's a really good way to to leverage some of this technology so, and it's best if I keep it to to some really basic recurring tasks like monthly there's a bunch of finance things but if it was maybe just like one or two goals a month that are gonna really act as catalysts for change in your life and the top things that you want to focus on every month.